cool little call. LAPD request for a tractor trailer over the side. My guy's already on scene, my OPG driver, and it's just a container. It looks like a chassis container came off the tractor. So we're clearing the way so we can get through. I got Joe and Big Flipper. What's up, Joe? And I'm in Oak. It should be relatively simple. This off ramp is notorious. It's a money pit, man. There's always all over here. I posted a couple YouTube videos here actually. I had the one with the trailer full of tires and I did it with this big flipper alone. So there's always a ton of room to work here. There's my guy Albert. And there's the casualty. really good so I'm gonna stop right here and have Joe stop behind me we're gonna get out and walk around the scene first what's up Albert let's do a quick walk around what's up Albert what's up Hulk? how's it going First things first, the containers, if you want to check the locks, it looks like the rear locks are intact. The chassis is obviously bent, so I'm going to need to request the Landall. What we do is we're going to split this, upright them one by one, put the chassis in our Landall, then bring in uh, another Landall for the container, if the company can't provide a good chassis. That's a good one. We're going to eat the land all. I'll summon Miguel. Oh, I'm so glad it's not under the bridge. Let's see if the lock sheared off here completely. Well, this is a good one. Hello. You know how much load is in here? How heavy? 40, 42. I know, no, 72. 72,000? Yeah, yeah. You gotta go slower with that way, man. Damn. <laughs> this is trash definitely. Does the company have another chassis? Or should, are we gonna- should you have, I, I bring this. You bring a good, good chassis? Yeah, yeah, I need to bring chassis. Please okay. Put the end, you move any, any safety place. Okay. okay, so we're just only gonna tow we gotta take this back to your yard, we can tow this. Yeah, okay. I can use, I will bring, okay? How far until your chassis gets here? Here, very near. Oh, it's here? No, no, near by here. So, first you can. Okay. Well, first we gotta get your tractor out of the way, so... We're gonna lift this up so we can pull out. 70,000 pounds, woof! Company has a good chassis. We'll put the container on there, and I'm just gonna bring. A, you know what? I could probably tow the chassis in the Hulk. Rear wheels look good. I just got a sky enough. Yeah, I'm gonna do it with Hulk. No point in bringing an extra truck and wasting all that time. Hey, I could. Yeah, seventy thousand pounds, bro. We got Big Flipper and Hulk, dude. I ain't sure. Remember we did the last one on the 710. Yeah, Atlantic. Remember Afterwards, we when we split it, I'm going to take the chassis with Hulk. I'm going to front tow it. Okay. All right, guys. I'm going to start uh, some rigging and, and getting the game plan, and I'll come back. Okay, first step is to separate the tractor from the chassis that got stuck between the rear axle. Got my fifth wheel wrinkle attachment with the chain around it, just so it doesn't mess up my snatch block. And I'm not really pulling real weight, so... It's just to get it attached. All right, Albert. Hold on. Okay. Now let's 
push it out. All right. Now. You're good there, bro. It's a nice piece of equipment. So step one is done. Tractor is out of the way. Now the next step is to disconnect these locks. I'm gonna keep tension on the front, but not too much. Just enough to where it's free that way we can get the locks undone so they don't, when you unlock and they don't boom, you, the thing doesn't fall over. Joe, you wanna see at this angle if you can get those locks undone? Should be good right there. So in the event the back does come down, I got it in the front so I don't hurt Hulk. Okay, so new plan. I am gonna do the whole thing with Hulk and my deck winch. It's really bad right here and we don't wanna damage the bumper on Big Flipper, so I'm gonna do it myself, get this out of the way and then Joe can be turned safely over here. making the u-turn i got the chassis out of the way what a funny looking toe <laughs> this thing is all sorts of tweaked man i'm obviously going to uh i just did this to get it out of the way but this is going to be a fun looking toe Okay, let's drop this thing and then I'm gonna help out Joe. Just out of the way, I got a little bit of a different setup again. I switched places with Joe. We thought about once we get it upright, uh, if we're both backed up to it, you know, how's the chassis gonna get it in here? So we're gonna use Big Flipper strength to get it off the side from, from the front and I'm gonna get it from the rear. The guy will just back up on the off ramp and go underneath and we'll set it on his on his chassis. I feel more comfortable this way. I have to scoot Joe back over more so his outriggers can be fully extended. Not just that, can you back up as close to this side as possible? Because I want your outriggers. I want your outriggers to be fully extended. So maybe like two more feet on that side and and I'll I'll, I'll guide you. Keep everyone in the loop. I'm done setting up the hole. Spot to tuck in a little bit more. I went with my container link link on this pocket and my 5 8 chain on this one with a lot of slack. So as I come over, it doesn't hit my snatch block. I talked to this guy that brought the chassis. They have it parked up there. I said, are you sure it's 70,000 pounds? He says, yes. Then he says, well, maybe 50. He said, but for sure over 40, but up to 70. So, you know, just 30,000 pounds difference. They don't know. They just I get off. Josh, I dropped the airbag. I put the winch brake on. Is that cool or not? You're fully extended? Yeah. Okay. Extended. Let's start setting up Big Flipper. How much was the weight? 40, 40. something. Including, including my truck is 20,000. 20 minus 20, 40, 45. 45. 
45,000. See, that's much better. I knew there wasn't 70,000 on the two axle. <laughs> So 45,000 pounds is much easier. I still rig as if we're, we're doing more. You always over rig than under rig. Joe, so disconnect those two and I'm gonna start swinging over to make sure we're perfectly aligned. Oh, I've seen, I've seen some bad stuff. Alright Joe, it's game time. We're gonna go in with our We got it at 45 degrees. Let's go check in and see how it looks. The guy with the chassis is still um, around. They had to move him from the bridge where he was at. Uh, we got a couple minutes before we get it in the air. So the game plan is to just lift this thing up in the air completely. And from where this bridge is, the guy's gonna be backing up straight under it. And we'll set it on him.
was a nice jelly roll in midair. It wasn't a hundred percent smooth because I'm, I'm training Joe right here in Big Flipper. So the more he comes out on these with me, I like to be in his ear and, and uh, give him pointers. But he did well. He did very well. Followed my lead and everything. So it's in the air right now. Let me get from this side so you guys can see. We got it in the air, and as the guy backs up, we're gonna put it up on his chassis. Probably have to lift it up about a foot or so. Woo! All right, I'm gonna stop the video so I can take some cool pictures. Put the drone down so I can focus on this. I need to tell him, don't worry about getting it straight. We, we'll do that for him. Hey, you want to charge him before he takes off with his container. <laughs> I know. Huh? I know. Well, we'll stay hooked to it. Trust me. Ain't nothing in this world for free, baby. Fucking Big Flipper got to eat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line him up in the back. And what I meant by he doesn't have to be straight is with these trucks, even if he's like, you know, a foot or so offset, you just, you play with your cables. They go in with one, out with the other, and rotate here and there, and we can set it on his locks. All right, I'll come back when this guy finally figures out how to back up. Easy. Guy backed it up. We got him in, he's gonna do his locks. Can you set your locks? Yeah. I'll tell you when. Okay, Joe, let's do you. Half the battle's always getting the payment. The people see the crazy work we do and then they get a bill and it's like, what? Like, bro, what do you expect? You were there taking pictures and recording us loving it. Joe's putting Big Flipper away, I got Hulk. Ugh. Joe's monster. I got my invoice, so I just do that. As soon as this guy comes back with this card, I run it on my little Clover device, and we are out of here. Open up that roadway. Joe put on my underlift a little bit too much. Right there's beautiful. Let me just check whenever, see how it's doing. Good. And then it's off to the custom yard with the chassis I go. I'll probably come back and record that because it's a cool little toll. So let me finish payment. Just about done. I had LAPD open up the, the on-ramp. So now fuck. Where's your binder? This side. Where my uh, the snatch block goes, Joe. So I had him open up the freeway on-ramp. Just to let traffic through while we hook this bad boy up. I'm gonna shoot some air to it. I don't need this. This is for a previous plan. So yeah, that's it. We're just gonna run a line of air to it. And I'm not going for it at all. They said Rancho Dominguez, which is um, I guess for those not familiar with Southern California, technically around Compton. Mean streets of Compton. Oh, I can't wait to review, review the footage of this one being rolled up in the air. Man, this is sweet. That driver took off straight to the floor. I told him they're not gonna accept it like that. He didn't listen. Or maybe they will, who knows. All right, guys, I'm out of here, peace.